The Canadian Premier League is in the home stretch. We are in Calgary, Alberta at Cofield at Spruce Meadows where both Pacific and Cavalry will wrap up their regular seasons. Tommy Wilden Jr. has made three changes to his 11, including the aforementioned Meyer Bevan in at the number nine. Jody Chiara into that front four, and David Norman Jr. into the back four, expecting the Cavs in a 4-1-4-1. And three changes for James Merriman. Two at fullback. The left back today is Jordan Haynes. George Mukambilwa will play at right back. And as mentioned, Jamar Dixon wearing the captain's armband back from suspension. And at the same time, too, I mean, I'm sure all the Ottawa players are, are watching this match very, very closely to see what, what they have to do tomorrow. I mean, look, they're at the top of the table. They deserve it, rightly so. I thought they've been brilliant this season. Um, but I do expect Pacific to put some pressure on them, especially in this game. And then the flip side, too, with, with Calgary, they, they know they're in playoffs. They're going to expect to come out of this game with no injuries and no issues whatsoever. A little bit more movement, a little bit more creativity. It's where they're lacking right now. Cavalry turn it over, it's Jordan Haynes, lines one up, drives it hard. Pacific's first shot attempt of the match goes wide. And again, Jacob, they're putting Bustos there because he's tall. <laughs> <laughs> it's Toussaint who comes over to keep an eye on Ali Moussi, probably the good idea. Alarcon, decent delivery off the head of Mayor Jaguer, drifting towards David Norman Jr. on a back post run. Field doing their part to raise the energy, the intensity. Stikiara for Kintabe. Musi continues to run in between the lines. Kintabe low, just pushed away from Irving. Thought that was going wide, but Irving had to be there. And this is the last thing you want with a couple minutes left. There's another free kick and a ball into your box. That line organized, it is Bustos. It's deep, too deep, close to Carducci, makes the catch. It's Cavalry that turn it over again. Dixon looking for Brown. One last chance for Pacific to go. Hurt has a step. Hurt once in the box, drives it low. Carducci makes the stop. it up and here comes Mickey Cantave. Alarcon is unattended as is DPR. Cantave still by Toussaint Cantave right into the chest of Irving. Sidesteps to his left, makes the catch and sends it away. Both shots on target for the Cavs have come off the boot of Mickey Cantave but Pacific they quickly are into the attack the third themselves. Aparicio for Bustos can't get a hold of it now. Heard and he sails it. The draw also sends Cavalry to 45, which means if Forge lose tomorrow, then Cavalry would have the third seed, and we might just see more from Pacific and the Cavs in the semifinals. Still plenty to be decided. Oh, a mistake. It is Gareth Smith Doyle. Great stop from Callum Irving. Denying Gareth's first goal in the Canadian Premier League. It was just a normal run-of-the-mill play, and Toussaint does the splits and gives it up in a very dangerous location. And then if Forge wins, Pacific can still finish fourth, and that would mean Atletico Ottawa and Pacific, Forge, and Cavalry would be the semifinals. Bustos, good ball in, just avoids Aparicio. Brentigny, back heel for Klopp, here's the cross, Irving, Irving knocks it down, excuse me. The first two meetings for these sides, May of 2019, the Canadian Championship. All the way to the semifinal last year, three meetings this season. Cavalry won at Echo Field 2-0, they drew 3-3, Pacific won 3-0 away. Now Antigny over, it's loose, Ben Fisk, the clincher! A big time blow to Pacific's regular season championship hosts. And it's the substitute, Gote and Tigny, driving to the byline, stopping it up. And Pacific, who so often take care of those second chance loose ball opportunities, cannot keep Ben Fisk away. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben's first goal of the year comes in the final regular season.
Championship match. Final seconds, Marco Carducci. He is going to take over the CPL's clean sheet total lead as it is a one nail victory for Tommy Wielden Jr. Their 10th all-time win against Pacific and maybe, just maybe, a little bit of redemption for last year's semi-final. Cavalry goes second in the Canadian Premier League table. Atletico Ottawa are your regular season champions.